If you would like even more art and content from me, like bonus videos and coloring pages, I'm on Patreon. It is a good way to support me and this channel. You can also get my art as prints, t-shirts, stickers, mugs and so on over at my Redbubble store. Links will be in the description box below. I truly appreciate the support, so thank you! Hi everyone, welcome back! So let's be real here, I've been in a bit of a slope lately, I felt unmotivated, uninspired and just down in general. You may have noticed it in my a bit sporadic upload schedule the past few weeks. It's been tough, I haven't really felt like doing anything at all, but I knew I needed to break the pattern to be able to restart, I just had to do something to trigger that creative spark again. Making videos for YouTube, it is sort of like a job to me and I can't always just draw or create exactly what I want to. I need to adjust a little to be able to make interesting content, but in this video I'm just gonna do whatever I feel like. And I've actually been urging to paint lately, so I thought why not break in my huge... I mean, it is the biggest paint palette I've ever seen, the Kuretake Gun. Saitambi paint palette. There is something so special with brand new art supplies. It is so clean and pure and full of possibilities. I have worked a lot with these paints before, I love them, they are bright, beautiful and creamy. I made a review of them a few years ago if you would like to check that out. So these Japanese paints, they are very much like watercolors but a little thicker and more creamy. Thin them out with a lot of water and they will become translucent like watercolors, but they can also be really really thick and opaque like gouache. The pans are also super huge, they're almost fit three normal half pans in one of these giant paint pans, which is great, now my biggest paintbrush will fit. I actually think that these are made that big to fit calligraphy brushes, but I'm not entirely sure about that. But yeah, here they are, a lot of pretty colors. They look a little shiny when making thicker layers, but I don't really mind to be honest, I rarely paint that thick anyway. So I started by making a very quick little sketch on my iPad. It is a pretty simple illustration with the stylized kitties and the leaves and stuff, but I think it is easier to draw digitally first where I can just move things around and edit things freely. I rarely sketch directly on the paper that I will make the art on. I prefer doing it on a separate piece of paper or digitally and then trace the sketch over to the Bristol board or watercolor paper or whatever I'm using. Here I'm using watercolor paper from Artessa. It is a really nice cold pressed paper with just the right amount of texture. As I mentioned many many times in my videos, I love watercolors. Even if these Kuretake Gun Saitambi paints aren't really traditional watercolors, but they are very similar. Watercolors is one of my go-to comfort art mediums. I especially like it when the paints get to flow out on the paper and create patterns and textures. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just does its own thing and whatever happens, happens. And the blue stuff that I added to the cat's eyes is masking fluid. It makes it a little easier for me to just paint over everything without having to avoid the eyes that should stay white. I suspect that the masking fluid has gone a little bad though. It was so, so hard to remove it from the painting later. It just turned into a sticky goo that I smeared all over the place. No harm done though. I think I got rid of almost everything, but it is quite old though, so I might have to replace it. Thank you. 
I am diluting the paint quite a lot to make it more translucent, which gives a very nice effect when layering the paint since you can still see through all the different layers. And that is kind of what I was going for here, doing a lot of layering, working with negative space and so on. And as you may have noticed, I am not using a lot of colors. And if this were a proper review of these paints or the palette, I would probably have used a lot more colors to fully demonstrate it, but this is a me painting, so I limited my palette a bit because that is what I wanted to do. I just thought it would look nice with this blue mixed with a yellowish orange. The blue is a little more toned down, which makes the yellow stand out a bit more and look more glowy. I added a tiny bit of purple too to the blue just to add more dimension and depth to the colors. Not really my my usual color scheme, but I really like it. I just felt like experimenting. I didn't really have any plans, just painting, adding details and layers wherever I thought it looked good. So I realized that this is very much like a good old speed painting video, which unfortunately aren't that popular anymore, even if some of you guys do request it sometimes, so here you go, I suppose. But honestly, I am so so happy that I decided to do this painting, or paintings rather, because I actually did one more after this. But yeah, I really needed to do art for me. I mean, I always enjoy making making art for videos, but as I mentioned before, I am a little limited sometimes in regard of what art supplies to use and what to draw. And when making videos, I don't always get a lot of time over to do other art. So it was very freeing just doing something that made me relaxed and I didn't feel any pressure to create something fun or interesting just for the sake of making a fun and interesting video. And yeah, I really, really love how this piece turned out. Definitely one of my favorites in a long time. And yeah, I'm usually very pro contrast, but this got more of a subtle look to it, which I like. The cats almost look see-through, like little ghost kitties that just blends into the nature. I don't know, it just feels cozy and cute. This is exactly the kind of art that I needed to make right now. I love it. I was feeling great, I was on a roll, so let's make another piece. Might as well go with the flow while it's there. And of course, I needed to make one with mushrooms and a cat, of course. We just have to accept it. Bob Ross made thousands and thousands of paintings of mountains, and I will be making thousands and thousands of paintings of cats. But now I wanted to try a different color scheme. Maybe not that different, I just used purple instead of blue, and also the yellow orange, which is a little bit of a gamble because while blue and yellow, as I used in the previous piece, creates green, purple and yellow makes brown, which may not be as pretty. So I tried to avoid mixing the colors too much when doing the wet on wet technique in the beginning. I was a little worried, to be honest, at the start that maybe the color choice was a bad idea, but I think it worked pretty well at the end. It turned out a little more earthy than the other one, but I still like it. 
question of the week. Let me know what do you guys do when you're stuck, when the creativity isn't flowing properly. Leave me and other people watching this your best tips and ideas. I think that just doing something that you think is fun, using art mediums and art supplies that you like, and not worrying about what others will think of it, I think that is what can make me a little uncreative and blocked sometimes, feeling like I have to come up with new creative ideas for things to draw in each video, while sometimes the only thing that I want to draw are cats and mushrooms, sometimes we just need to do what we have to to feel good. I loved making these pieces, it was fun and relaxing, I was listening to music and audiobooks, I went with the flow. I'm pretty sure I will make more paintings like these, I might create a whole series, who knows. These two anyway will be available as prints in my Redbubble store if you're interested. Looks really great as jigsaw puzzles, I have to say. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and the painting process, I certainly did, as I've said maybe too many times now. My video schedule might still be a little sporadic, I'm trying to figure things out and maybe find a new schedule to make all things work together, but I will let you know what happens, if anything happens, of course. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, it really helps me out. I hope you will have a lovely day or evening and I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats, bye!